let us consider a scenario like this we want to talk about connected bodies in our problem the connected bodies are three bodies m1 m2 m3 they are connected with a light weighted strings and they are on a frictionless surface let us say on m1 we have applied a force f in this direction so if at all the system has to move it is obvious that it's going to move along the direction of the applied force all m1 m2 m M3s are going to move in this direction. What happens when you pull it, M1? The, the, the direct force acting on M1 itself. Now M1 pulls M2 towards it by making the string tight and by applying a force. Let the tension is T1. Be clear the tension T1 what I am writing here is applied by M1 acting on m2 because we need to know this because we need to consider the forces acting on the body but not applied by the body now m2 applies a reaction to this tension action having the same magnitude t1 but in the opposite direction so what is this t1 is be careful so this t1 is applied by m2 acting on m1 so i shall consider this tension when I am studying the motion of M1 because it's acting on M1 and I shall consider this as when I am studying the motion of M2 because it's acting on M2 the same happens in, in this case also now M2 pulls M3 with, with a tension T2 this tension is applied by M2 but acting on M3 we shall count it when we are studying M3. M3 applies a reaction, the same value T2. This is applied by M3 but acting on M2. And as per the understanding, we shall always consider the forces acting on the body but not by the body. So let us try to draw free body diagrams for each of them. Free body diagrams. You know the meaning of the free body diagram is the combination of the forces acting on the body, never by the body. So let us start with M3 because it's the simplest part. As I said, on M3 there is only one force acting applied by M2 on M3. Only that tension has to be taken into account. I shall not take this tension because it is not acting on M3 either it is applied by M3. We shall have to count the forces acting on the body not applied by the body. Because of the tension it is going to move in this direction. So I can write F resultant on M3 is nothing but T2. That is nothing but equal to M3 into A. Let us consider free body diagram for M2. I want to draw the same for M2. This is the body M2. I have to see the forces acting on M2, not applied by M2. See, this is the force acting on M2. This is applied by M1, but acting on M2. This one, I shall count this as T1. And I shall count this because it is acting on M2 applied by M3. This is the value of the T2 and it is moving like this. So I can write F resultant for this is M2 into A is equal to as it is moving from left to right. Left side force has to be treated like positive, negative. right side side has to be treated like negative. Let us consider the same free body diagram for M1. I have to count the forces acting on M1. Now on this M1, the force is applied. And I have to take only this force. Because that is the force applied by M2 and acting on M1. That is nothing but equal to T1. So I can write F resultant is as the system is going to move like this F minus T1 that is nothing but equal to M1A 
So now I have three equations. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. This is equation number three. And three unknowns t1, t2, and acceleration. We need to solve these three equations and find out the three. Let us see how it can be done. Let us now substitute the value of t2 from equation number 1 in equation number 2. Then this is the equation number 1, this is the equation number 2. I want to substitute t2 in equation number 2. m2a as per equation number 2 is t1 minus t2. t2 is nothing but m3a. So what I can say? m2 plus m3 of a is nothing but t1. Put this value in equation number 3. What I can get? f minus t1. t1 is nothing but m2 plus m3 of a equal to m1 of a. Let this uh, a term to other side. f is nothing but m1 plus m2 plus m3 of acceleration. So I got an equation for acceleration as f by m1 plus m2 plus m3. I can put this acceleration in equation number 1 so that I will be getting a value of the tension t2. Let us try to do that. What I am going to do is put the value of this acceleration in equation number 1. Then what I can write from 1 t2 equal to m3 into a where a is f by m1 plus m2 plus m3. Now I know the value of t2 here. Once if I know the value of t2, I can substitute here. I can get the value of the t1. If you want me to try, I can try that. Let us see. I know the value of t2. Put it here. You know the value of acceleration you will get the value of t1. That's it. That's what the values that you want to do. You can simply substitute, calculate and get the answers. This is the way that how we have to apply free body diagrams under the Newton laws of motion and action in finding out the unknown physical quantities like acceleration and the tension. Thank you.